Hi there, Mark Jamin here, Medical Director for the Haywood County Health Department, and let's talk about this pandemic. Today, answers to some lingering questions, and I invite a special guest to demonstrate some ways to wear a mask. So back in March and April, there was the thought that the virus would just go away in the warm weather. In order to cling to that wish, of course, a person would have had to dismiss what was clearly going on in the Southern Hemisphere, where it was summer. With what we know now, seeing in the United States, I think we have a definitive answer. Warm weather has not made the virus go away. And in fact, it's made it worse. Just look at the data. It's summer and cases are increasing across the country. Is it because warm air promotes spread? Well, uh, I think we now have an answer to that too. Summer means vacation, and with summer comes opening up of the economy, neither of which is at fault for the virus spreading, by the way. The answer is because warm air promotes people to spread the virus. Spread is because of increased contact between people. Spread is because of what a person chooses to do or not do. People who demand opening up the economy, but then don't do the very things needed to help the economy fully recover, People go out and about, but don't think they will get sick or make someone else sick. People who go on vacation to areas with lots going on and don't do the things while there to keep bring, from bringing it back. And people who develop symptoms and don't isolate because, well, they never thought they would ever get it. You would think the very folks who most want to be free to go out and about would also be the very people who would freely do their part to keep it that way. But unfortunately, for those who are being careful, that's not the case. And that's odd. After all the uncertainty over the past four months and complaints about all the conflicting recommendations, at last we have answers. We have answers to what being careful means. And it's pretty straightforward. Appropriate distancing and masks when you can't. For those who choose to be careful and exercise their freedom to protect themselves and others, here are answers to the most effective mask wearing techniques. And I'm going to ask my buddy, to come off the shelf to help out. So first, uh, some less effective techniques. There's the under the chin technique. Then there's the ear hang technique, otherwise known as the Florida technique or the hanging chad. How about the nose nose? And finally, the phantom. No mask at all. So the most effective way to wear a mask is over the nose and mouth, under the chin, tight to the sides as possible. So there you have it. Clear-cut answers to your most pressing questions. So follow the three W's, show an IQ, practice the golden rule of gathering. Be well and be careful, especially right now. Hey, thanks for your help.